take 15. It's Ash, and we are back talking about film editing software today, as there are so many different softwares out there. We're going to go over a few of them. It's not going to be a, this one's better than the other. It's just going to be um, kind of talking about which ones are going to be a little bit more powerful, and some of the new launches and releases and free ones and things like that what's going to be better for an influencer or a private sector film creating crew versus more of a public um, corporate type setting. So I've done a lot of research and obviously, you know, Adobe is all the top of most technology uh, editing softwares. It does, you know, I've heard multiple, you know, sayings as to whether it's bulky or not, and it seems to not be user-friendly, you know, and once you get used to using it and you use it on a regular basis, it is a good software, very strong, very powerful, has regular updates, and is a pretty really good price for the amounts that you're paid each month. Um, now there's other ones that you can completely license yourself, it's, it can be a little bit more expensive, especially, uh, if you are not, if you're not somebody that uses it on a regular basis. So Adobe Premiere, Adobe Rush, and Adobe Illustrator are some of the high ones just because of their power, um, the fact that you can move it from program to program, it's very compatible, and it just has a lot of different options. Not very, you know, not as user-friendly. I don't think any of us have said, oh yeah, Adobe's the most user-friendly ever. But you know what, that's kind of, you know, comes with the ups and downs, right? You know, you have to give and take, and once you start delving into how the platform actually works, you get to see how powerful it is, and once you get used to it, like as in anything, um, no, it's not user-friendly, but you can always take classes to get better. There's lots of YouTube opportunities out there. Many people that are super, super skilled with the whole YouTube mindset and with editing and can fill you in on... Um, some of the ins and outs of how to do that with the newest updates um, because Adobe software is always updating and the versions can change quite a bit um, from version to version so it just depends on you know how often you use it there's also so many other ones out there we've got Pinnacle and um, Vegas come out with some we've got um, the, I mean, if you're looking into, we'll talk about photos later as there's so many different photo editing softwares, filters, presets, things that you can pre-buy and things like that, um, CGI to update. Skylum has come out with a software, a new launch, uh, Luminar Neo, and that is available for pre-sale. Um, and that's one of the newer platforms that is coming out. Um, I think the jury's still out on whether or not this is a successful or powerful tool, but it is set up similar to a monthly membership as um, Adobe is. So as the reviews come back on this new tool, that'll be something that'll be interesting to see uh, where this goes. I know lots of companies are trying to step up. I, even though Adobe has kind of the market on it, there are other ones that are more fit for the individual, um, movie product production. And even the big companies use Adobe. So, um, when it comes down to independent filmmaking, that's something that, you know, if you have somebody that knows Adobe and is able to edit your software that way, that's probably one of the best ways to go. Then I've heard Power Directory 365 is a good one with Cyberlink. Um, that is a really good product they've launched that is new. Um, it has an annual plan and is pretty pricey if you want to just buy it outright. But um, Cyberlink has got some really good other downloads and products as well. But this is their newest product that they've come out with. Um, and so far it's been a fairly big, fairly big hit. Um, and then if we're going down 
a little bit. Well, Pinnacle is another one that seems to be pretty, it's not, it's a, it's semi-popular. Um, and you, what it is though, is a download and or uh, installment. There isn't a monthly option for it as of current. So that is a problem because, I mean, you can update it, but it is something that you'll have to force and you won't have it as a regular update that will continue um, through a monthly plan. But if you want something that's just remote that can install on your computer, um, that's pinnacle. But from what I understand, Adobe and Cyberlinks tend to be the ones that are recommended um, and are the better ones of it. Now, for independent filmmaking, and if you don't want something that is as, I mean, obviously... There's Apple iMovie and, you know, multiple other small apps that you can use on your phone. Ones like uh, Quick Power Director, we've got Adobe Premiere Rush. There's a limited version that you can get on your phone that does pretty well, especially for many of the influencers or uh, individual private sector filmmakers that a lot of the a lot of them are filming right on their phone and as we talked about on a prior podcast we talked about the equipment um where many companies are going towards creating an all-in-one kit for movie makers and filmmakers like that can uh, go right with their phone from a teleprompter to lighting to green screens um i mean you name it stabilizers things like that so there's a lot of opportunity as far as that goes. But anyways, um, back to the software, we have Splice and Shots and a host of other ones that are perfect. Um, it's good to have a good filter, are able to adjust sound levels, you're able to adjust uh, the video quality a little bit um, on those versions of that are free, and then you can upgrade to get better features and things like that. So there's, you know, and it's usually those ones are a little bit um, more inexpensive obviously you're not going to have all the equipment and it is a little bit harder to edit on your phone um but it, it's not like shelling out a couple grand for some of these uh equipments uh, softwares where you have the rights to it if that's what you're working on and you use it on a lot or it's your primary focus um so anyways, uh, we'll go back to a couple here. We'll get into a few more softwares. Uh, Vegas is one of them. It's not necessarily highly rated. I guess it depends on who you talk to. Um, but that's another creative software that you can you can purchase as well. Um, it's probably the best for like details and things like that. Kind of getting the last little bit. Um, we also have Wondershare. That's a, a fairly decent product for if you're on a budget. There's a free download that you can get, um, and there's uh, obviously you can upgrade to get a little bit better versions. As far as like doing a full on editing software, I mean it will do the job, but it's not as powerful as so obviously Adobe, uh, Cyberlink, and Pinnacle is a little bit more too. Uh, and then there's just a bunch of other ones. You have Core, you've got WG, you got Moabi, um, and many, many more. Some of them have the month-by-month -month subscription. Other ones you have to purchase as a package and download. Um, and obviously you want to make sure that you have, along with the good software, is you need to have uh, the good hardware to go along with that. Make sure that your computer has got enough memory as you're dealing with large files. And a lot of times, uh, many editors will build their own computers just so that it has enough terabytes of information to be able to uh, compact all the data. So well, that's kind of where we're going to wrap it up for today. As far as free softwares, if you're a, I mean, there's a lot you can do with free softwares out there, um, especially if you're just going to go with a filter, maybe you've increased the sound a little bit. Um, you can do a lot on your phone, like I said. Um, Wondershare has a free version, and uh, that's, you know, fairly decent. And then there's a couple of these other ones that have free versions as well. Um, 
But if, I mean, like if you want to just do it, the, the basics, the Apple video editor, Microsoft editor, those film, like video editors, those are just, you know, good basic ones to go with if you're just wanting a filter. Um, put some stuff together with uh, some music, add some cut, paste, basic transitioning and stuff like that. Those are ones that you want to go with um, just to save the bank. But if you're wanting to get into something that's a little bit more intense, you need to do some major editing. Um, you're going to need to dive way into the sound and you're going to need to dive into the color and you're going to need to dive into, you know, all these other aspects of the editing. Then you're probably and you're going to be <laughs> probably going to need to shell a little bit more money. Um, I think that's why a lot of editors use the Adobe products because you can, like I said, shovel them back and forth between the Illustrator, Adobe Premiere Pro, Rush, and then back and over again, basically, because that's what a lot of editing is. Um, I also know that some of the platforms are a little bit better at the stop motion, which has become extremely popular now. Um, if you're looking for something that's going to be a little bit better at that, so the Dragon Frame is one that I've heard a lot is very popular that is paid. And then there's Eclipse, that's a stop motion. That one is also paid. A free one is the Heroine Animation and then Biox Stop Motion. That's a paid, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Filmora is free if you get the Filmora Pro. Uh, Monkey Jam is free as well. And those are good for stop motion as I know that that has become extremely popular um, with many filmmakers and has become a fairly decent marketing uh, tool as well. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed our little time together and just given you some insights as to so many of the different platforms that are out there and what is available. Um, in a nutshell, you know, they are, um, Adobe seems to be the best, uh, at the top from most of the editors that I have talked to anyways. It is a little bit clunkier, like I said, but it, there is, um, lot of power to it and then Skylum like I said is just uh it's worth checking out has just released that software Luminar Neo and it might be worth checking out um to see what is the whole deal with that all right guys well you take care and we will see you back here next time